Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. I hope all of you who are watching this video are preparing in a highly focused manner and in the same way working smartly in order to tackle the upcoming KCT 2023 exam. But during this time, one question which I was repeatedly getting through my Instagram handle and through the comment section of my previous videos was that uh, is it important to cover the 11th portion or the first PUC portion in the last 20 days or can we neglect it? There were some people who were asking me uh, that can we score a rank or can we secure a rank below 10k even if we neglect the 11th syllabus. So I thought of addressing the entire thing through a dedicated video wherein I will be discussing things about uh, things like importance of first PUC syllabus and can you neglect it and what things you can neglect and what things need a lot of focus right now. So uh, watch this video till then guys cause I'll be discussing some serious things in the middle of the video and then uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet immediately click on the subscribe button cause I'll be uploading same kind of videos in the coming future about KCET then KCET exam and even after the exam I'll be uploading videos regarding the counseling process too. So uh, I'll be with you through the entire journey until you secure a seat in your dream college. So uh, click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be notified as soon as I upload any kind of new video guys Yeah, with that note, uh, let's start this video. Okay, first things first Let us understand the distribution of the marks uh, between the first PUC portion and the second PUC portion in KCET The 60% of the marks or the 60% of the questions come from class 12th portions or the second PUC portions and then the remaining 40% come from the 11th portion or the first PUC portion. Now the important question that comes in your mind is bro 40% is quite a big deal but still can we neglect 11th and can we uh, uh, can we manage to score a few marks from the 11th portion and then concentrate highly on this 12th part and can we excel it and in the same way can we get a rank below 10k. So this was the question which even I had in my mind uh, when I was preparing for my KCT and it is absolutely normal to have it. But let me tell you one thing guys. Uh, you all know uh, the importance of the foundation for building homes or the building uh, the construction of certain buildings. When the foundation is pretty good, then the building will be stable enough in order to stand in order to withstand harsh conditions too. So that is where I am trying to relate, guys. The eleventh portion or the first PUC portion, especially in subjects like physics and chemistry, the basic things, the fundamentals of I mean the fundamentals which are required in order to understand concepts which are there in 12th portion or the second PUC portion are there in first PUC portion. So that is why people recommend you to go from 11th, start preparing seriously from 11th and then which that will make your road or that will make your uh, path so easy when you come to 12th class or the second PUC. So that is one point which you have to keep in mind that things which are there in 11th build a strong foundation for you when you uh, deal with chapters which are in the 12th portion or the uh, second PUC portion and this doesn't mean that you should be completing the entire 11th portion in these 20 days listen to me guys 60% comes from the 12th portion okay let that be aside for now you will be in a good position in 12th class syllabus cause you have just given your board exams and the concepts will be retained in your mind and I am pretty sure that you will do justice uh, for the 12th portion which will be coming here in your KCT exam but now now let us go through the 40% which is coming from 11th syllabus. Uh, let me tell you one, one kind of secret only guys. So even the examiners who are setting the KCT paper know that you won't be in a position to recall difficult concepts and apply the same in your KCT exam which comes from the first PUC portion cause when you are just passing out of your second PUC you won't be in a position to recall and apply difficult concepts from uh, the 11th syllabus and even KCT examiners know this and based on this itself the entire KCT paper will be framed upon. So now what is the use of it? The use which you get from here is that even if they give 40% of the questions from 11th syllabus the 40 questions or the 40% of questions will be easy. Yes guys you heard it right. Even if you know chapters in a nutshell and when you uh, practice questions for the high weightage chapters when it comes to 11th too then it will be completely fine guys. When it comes to uh, the 11th uh, physics part if you ask me then the starting mechanics part is very important which covers kinematics and uh, uh, loss of motion and uh, rigid body dynamics or the rotational motion which you call. So these things become really important. These are high weightage in that 40% you should be able to figure out what uh, topics are holding high weightage even in that 40% uh, 
some amount of only a little chunk of chapters hold a lot of weightage and you should be able to understand them and you should be able to work related to it uh, i mean you should be able to prioritize the chapters which contain high weightage again in that 40 percent so that even if you neglect some chapters from 11th and even if you are a little bit less focused on the high weightage chapters of 11th the questions will be easier compared to the 12th class syllabus i'm repeating it again the questions which come from the 11th or the first PUC portions will be easier compared to those questions which come from 12th class. Uh, when something requires less amount of preparation and which is giving you uh, more marks then that is a good, quite a good deal to prepare for in the last 20 days when you have very less time. So I'm stressing upon this point because there will be a lot of confusion for you and many people are in the same situation wherein you are stuck between this first PUC portion and second PUC portion. You won't be able to enter second PUC portion cause uh, the thing uh, it will strike in your mind that you haven't prepared your first PUC correctly yet. So it is completely fine guys even if you are in a position wherein you have a grab on the second PUC portion a bit but you are you aren't in a position wherein you can solve questions which come from 11th even now the time is there prioritize the chapters correctly i am telling you prioritizing helps you a lot guys uh, 40 percent to 50 percent of the chapters hold 80 percent of the weightage then you understand how important it is to prioritize the chapters when it comes to your preparation so i hope i uh, delivered what i thought of delivering to you guys so first thing is that 40 percent of syllabus comes from 11 and even in that 40 percent very few chapters hold a lot of weightage and these are the chapters which you have to focus upon and the fact that the questions which come from 11th portions will be easy should motivate you a lot in order to study this 11th portion and, and if you understand what I said in the last uh, 3 to 4 or uh, 5 to 6 minutes then I hope the answer for your question about can we get a rank below 10k or 5k uh, without studying first PC portion is addressed. If you ask me how to deal with 11th chapters which we haven't done even once in our uh, 11th class so when it comes to that you should be referring one shot videos so one shot videos are really helpful there are many youtube channels which provide excellent content uh, when it comes to one shot series if you want uh, then put it on the comment section then even i'll be able to come up with videos in which i uh, will be telling which one shot series did i refer for kct uh, i'll be coming up with it anyways and then you can just go through your NCRT, you can just go through handwritten notes if you have any and then you can just uh, take a mock test wherein you will be able to figure out what kind of preparation is yours when it comes to the first PUC portion and you can identify your weaknesses and in the same way work upon them. So uh, having weaknesses is not a problem but not working upon them is definitely a problem and I am pretty sure that all of you who are watching this video have that ability to uh, cover the portions which you haven't done yet in these 20 days and in the same way come out with flying colors in your KCT exam. Again in the end I would like to remind you one thing guys uh, when you feel low when you uh, run out of motivation then think of the life after KCT. So when you just uh, come out of the KCT examination hall if you are someone who is uh, content or if you are someone who is satisfied uh, about your performance in the exam and if you uh, somehow manage to get a seat in your dream college then imagine that life and that will certainly boost your preparation like anything and uh, you'll be able to uh, come up with flying colors in the KCT 2023 exam guys being mentally strong and trusting your abilities becomes really important in this phase because there won't be a lot of people who will be cheering for you so you should be your uh, biggest fan right now uh, if the preparation is one side then trusting your abilities and trusting the process and not just running behind the results these are things which you have to inculcate and uh, together this will lead you to success guys yeah with that note this is Darshan S. Kaurda signing off video I enjoyed a lot while I was making this video and if you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that that will give me a lot of motivation to come up with same kind of videos in the coming future and in the same way share this video to your friends too so that even that will be a lot of benefit for them if they are preparing for the KCT 2023 exam. If you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions then feel free to put it on the comment section so that uh, I can think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future. Thank you guys. Thank you. We will meet in the next video. Bye.